Yo, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review of the Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Ball Evolve series from Bandai. Alright, now, also real quick, a disclaimer, this video is not for kids. This is for adult collectors only, so if you're under the age of 13, please get off my channel now and come back and see me when you're a little older. Alright? Now that that's out of the way, getting back to these. Alright, so about, I'd say a couple months ago, I have talked about these already. I had them uh, when they were first hitting shelves and stuff, because, you know, Walmart decided in their electronic department they were kind of going to be like Target and sell this kind of stuff. So, uh, I saw them, I picked them up, but I wanted to keep the ones that I got in mint on card. Because at that time, they were the only times I had seen them. Uh, and now, lately, two months later, being restocked and stuff, these things are kind of starting to warm the pegs, I guess. And I don't know why, because they look pretty awesome. But I went ahead and went out and got a whole other set of these for your guys' viewing pleasure. Because I want to get these busted open, take a good look at them, and maybe entice you guys as action figure fans and stuff to start going out and buying these things. Because... I mean, they're they're really awesome. Like to me, they remind like they kind of remind me of that cross between Dragon Ball Supers of the Dragon Stars and SH Figwarts. So I don't know how accurate that is because I haven't had them in hand yet to play with them. But just looking at them in the package, they look like they're loaded with articulation. There's going to be better movement, at least on these, than on our Dragon Stars. So, uh, yeah, uh, shit, we got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku here, we've got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta here, and we've got Broly here, Super Saiyan Broly. So, this should be pretty fun, I mean, I've got all these same figures pretty much in the, uh, Dragon Star form, so, uh, really nothing new there. These are quite a bit smaller though. So let's just go ahead, set these down for a minute. And we'll start with Goku. We'll get this guy busted open. I'll open all three of them real quick. And we'll get a close look at these. Uh, this is just a regular old blister card here. Uh, nothing special about the packaging, although it does look pretty good. Um, there's no accessories at all on here. There's no interchangeable hands, no effects pieces. Which, I mean, if these are successful, if they sell, that may change down the line. They might start adding more stuff to them. But being that this is kind of a new toy line, I think they were kind of like trying to reduce the risk on spending money on these, really, making these. Just in case it wasn't a hit. But uh, I'd like to see them do more. I just, I do. I'd like to see them do more. Cause these look like these should be pretty awesome. I mean, let's get them. Let's get it to it. Get these bad boys open now. I have no intent of saving this stuff. Cause like I said, I do have a version of these mint on card, and huh, they come out really easy. <laughs> There's nothing to it. So that's cool, man. That is cool. All right. So there's a Goku. Oh, Vegeta. I don't know how much that hurts. I know there's people out there that are just all about keeping everything mint on card and everything. And it, 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 they freak out when you see you rip shit open like that. But like I said, rest assured, man, that I have these figures. Wow, where's that glare coming from on my camera? Is that you? Yeah, maybe it was. All right, we'll leave that off for now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, rest assured that I have these mint on cards still, and it's not that big of a deal. Like, And that's not, I don't do all my toys like that. There's a lot of stuff that I have that I have loose that I don't have carded. I mean, I like to have two of each usually, but I can't always do that. So uh, it's no big deal, really. Um, I'll tell you what, like right out of the gate, man, the plastic on these feels pretty good. Like it doesn't feel like brittle ass Bandai plastic that they were used to. 
and uh, already <laughs> the articulation on them. Like I said, man, these are like these might as well be sh. Why is that glaring so bad? What can I do about it? Like, I can't turn all my lights off. <laughs> yeah, the the head's on a ball peg, so it's got a great range of motion on there. Way better than our Dragon Stars. I don't have any SH Figuarts, so I really can't compare that to these. But, like, just <laughs> in the shoulders, I mean, you're getting better move, better range there. Uh, of course, there's a single-jointed elbow, but you do got a bicep swivel. Uh, great range right here in the twist. So, I mean, Jesus. The legs, let's see what happens. All right, well, that's kind of a common issue with uh, <laughs> Dragon Stars 2 is, okay, stiff joints, be careful. All right, let's put this guy back together before I continue here. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's okay that they come apart as long as they don't break and they kind of stay solid. But, uh, like, look at the range on the leg, <laughs> the kick. I mean, it's... There's a pivot here, uh, no boot rotation, which they didn't have those on the Dragon Stars either. So uh, either way, I mean, yeah, they're smaller. It could have used some interchangeable hands. That would have been nice to at least have a set of fisted hands. But these shoulders is where it's all at right there. There's a lot of movement in them shoulders. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, these things are tiny, man. They're not super tiny but oh man the vegeta Ooh see we got fisted hands here and i wish it's the only downfall to the goku is i don't want to always have my figure with the clutched hands i just i don't like that i want to have options oh man these are these are actually really good i am actually really impressed with how these turned out like just looking at them in the package i knew that there was some potential to these but on what scale i had to open them to find out oh my god can anybody see anything like okay where is that fucking glare coming from this is retarded okay well that helps a little bit but I don't know it has to be on my camera or something because I've got all my backlights back here off now which I'd never do that so I don't know if it's I don't know it's not usually happening here I, I don't know what the hell's going on with my camera but you can see as I move <laughs> it's fading so like I, I move up closer there is bright and blurry. I move back, it's set. So it's got to be something. Yeah, it's something in my settings. So hopefully we can just bear through this video. I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell to do to fix this. It's retarded, man. That's aggravating the crap out of me. So, let's turn this one back on. Like, that helps at all. It doesn't do anything. This is stupid. I've never had a review that had this much issues with the lighting. So, I guess I'll just back up for now, because it seems like that helps. What? Okay, I'll stay over here then. <laughs> seems to be the thing. Alright, well, let's check out Broly here. Uh, the only thing that sucks about this Broly, I wouldn't say it sucked, but, like, the scale of him, he's just way too tiny. <laughs> this is not a very big Broly here. Come on, can you see that at all? Why is my light, what the fuck? How does me moving in and out, there's no lights behind me to make that reflection? Like, what could be the issue here? 
I don't fucking know, man. It's driving me crazy. I don't know. I'm going to try it after this video, though, to fix this, because this is a bitch right here. Like, it's clear now. And it has to do something with the settings, because it's like it's focusing on me and not what's down here. And, uh, yeah, it's just glaring like a mother. That's shitty, man. Shitty as hell. Like I said, there ain't a fucking thing I can do about it either. Okay, so there's Broly up close. Nice and clear. No glare. And I like this too. This little, the the ear here. That he's, that he's got draped around him. Very soft. Very pliable. Unlike his Dragon Star counterpart. It's really stiff. This is, uh... Yeah, you can get some uh, some play out of that. Leg action. Look at it. <laughs> if you can. Yeah. It's really pliable. So, anyways, the, the, the whole point of this is to, to get you guys excited about this line right here. And get out to Walmart and start buying these up so I had... Because I could stop looking at them all the time, like... I'm sitting here like, why are those things still on the shelf? How have they not sold out of those? I mean, because they are seriously awesome. Yeah, this is no exception. Now, real quick, I want to do some mild comparisons. I'm not going to pull out every character and compare it to it, but... Uh, Fuck that goddamn glare. What the fuck is going on? I can't really back up anymore. I got a bunch of fucking shit behind me here. Stuff that hasn't been reviewed yet. Let me try to fucking move this shit back up a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be helping at all. I gotta figure out what the fuck is causing that glare. Yep, that didn't help at all. I wonder if it's my actual ceiling light itself doing that. But I'm... I, I'm focusing more time and attention on the stupid lighting than the review itself. That's shitty. It really is. I've never had this issue before. Hang on, I'm going to step out of focus real quick. Go over here and see if this fucking light ain't doing anything. I doubt it. I mean, these... These reviews are supposed to be all based on lighting, you know. It's all the, you want lighting to really be able to see this clear. And I'm getting nothing but glares, and I swear it's from the one above me, which is always on in all my other reviews, and I've never had this issue before. So forgive me. I apologize. Bear with me on this, and I swear by the next video I'll try to make sure I rectify this situation because this is really pissing me off. And it's like, every time I move my arms up, it's like, you see what I'm, you, you see this happening? <laughs> like, I'm moving, and the, and, the, and the brightness is fading in and out, so it's definitely, the set, it's not my lighting, it's the settings on the phone somehow. I had to have hit a button or something that I didn't, wasn't aware of, but hopefully you can see this. Son of a bitch. So this is Goku from our Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Stars. You see the size difference here? And quite a bit of difference in size. Okay. Now, these are also from Bandai. These little minis here. All Gokus. All different sizes. And 
you won't be able to see it because this fucking glare. What the fuck? Hang on. It's... God damn it. If I turn off any more fucking lights, I'm not going to have any light at all in here. Yeah, I got to quit because it's not, like I said, this ain't got nothing to do with my lights. This is all on the fucking camera here. So I'm just going to turn my shit back on and just fucking muscle through. So, anyways, I don't know what to do. And that's not helping anymore either. Okay, so that's helping. Look at me back here looking like a jackass. Moving around all over the place trying to get better lighting. Fuck it, man. You know? Uh, so anyway, these actually all look good together. I mean, really, there's... You got these multiple scales, and even the Dragon Ball uh, SH Figuarts are kind of in between these two sizes right here. You know what I'm saying? They're like, they, the only thing about those is this, the consistency of scale is off, you know? But anyway, that's, that's, that's it. I mean, I don't know what else to do as far as trying to make this review any better. Because the lighting is just going to keep being fucked until I do something about it. And I can't do anything about it while I'm recording. So, sorry. Um, and yeah, these, to me, uh, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, if you love Dragon Balls, which, I mean, who doesn't? If you love Dragon Balls, though... These are a must-have, in my opinion. So, stop everything you're doing. <laughs> Get out to Walmart. Go to the electronics section. And look for them. You'll find these. They have them with... They got NECA stuff out now. and Oh, my God. <laughs> Camera, what the fuck are you doing? Why is this happening? Shit. Anyways, I'm off of here, man. I'm getting out. I'm done with this shit. This is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, alright. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video, at least what you can see of it. Hope you guys are enticed to go out and buy these things now, because they're really great. They're a lot of fun. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun messing with these. Um, and I'd like to see them make more. I really do. I want to see them... You know, release a bunch of characters, but at the same time, I don't want Bandai neglecting the Dragon Stars. I mean, they have already, you know, they've dug deep. They got a lot of characters so far. There's still quite. There's more coming out. They're still going with the line. So, yeah, keep on doing that. And if you have to tweak up the articulation on those a little bit, maybe give us these shoulders on those. You know, do a little bit of tweaking on them to make them a little bit better. That'd be great. Because, I mean, really, these are about the same price point as the Dragon Stars. Which, nowhere near the price of SH Figuars. So, they're affordable. And they're fun. They got good details on them. They look great. Like I said, the only issue I have at all with these is Broly's size. I mean, really, though, he should be... At least that big, you know, like he should be pretty massive, even on the scale. So that's the only downfall to this that I have is just the size. It's not accurate, but if you can overlook that, because he's still beefy as hell, if you can overlook his height, you know, then yeah, he's fine. But Otherwise, that's about it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm loving these, and I can't wait. I'll probably pick up some more of these uh, when I get the chance. So that way, if you are having, if you've seen this video and interested and you're having trouble finding them, hit me up, and I'll sell them to you. You know, we'll figure something out. So, but I do want to get more of these. All right. So, yep. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, you are checking out Master Marvel 80 here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And I will catch you guys later. And hopefully the video will be much clearer, man.
Peace out, y'all.